Welcome to uh, Daily Devotions for Tuesday, uh, August 17th. Um, as you can tell, I'm once more out here in the courtyard. Uh, last time I did devotions out here by this tree, it was in January and we'd lost uh, a major portion of the tree behind me. And as you can see, we had a, uh, a storm come through here again on Friday night. And oh my goodness, that tree is being uh, whittled down. Uh, and I don't know if there's anything enough yet uh, to survive, we'll, we'll let our experts look it over and decide if there's still anything that can survive. But uh, I thought uh, we'd let that uh, trusty old tree still be our guide uh, and see if we can't learn a little bit from nature about uh, God's work in our lives. So um, this time um, I was thinking about Isaiah chapter 40. Uh, so let me read this to you. A voice cries out, Proclaim a message. What message shall I proclaim, I ask? Proclaim that all humankind are like grass. They last no longer than wild flowers. Grass withers and flowers fade when the Lord sends the wind over them. People are no more enduring in gra than grass. Yes, grass withers and flowers fade, but the word of our God endures forever. So, uh, you know, uh, once again, uh, when we look at trees, uh, we see something that often lives a, a comparable life to our own. I mean, there are some trees that endure for centuries, uh, and those are amazing, beautiful trees. But uh, these Palo Verde are a little bit more like us. Well, actually, they, they, most of them don't live to be 80. They have a shorter lifespan than us. But still, we see some permanency, especially on a tree like this one where We've built a courtyard around it, uh, and uh, we've seen our children playing underneath it. Maybe we've gathered shade underneath it ourselves, uh, and um, and we've enjoyed it for its beauty. Uh, and so to lose it is a, it's a little bit uh, like uh, losing a friend. So uh, first off, we want to give thanks for this friend uh, behind us. And you know, in some ways, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing for us to remember that creation is this beautiful gift given to us by God. Uh, but secondly, um, you know, there is this interesting thing that um, this tree has been going down in bits. You know, uh, we, uh, we can cut off branches uh, and the rest of the tree is there. But um, we forget that the old branches protected the other branches. There was uh, less shear force on the branches uh, because they had the protection of, of other branches around them. And, um, you know, um, it's a little bit like that uh, in our faith, uh, that each one of us uh, is a, a branch uh, in our relationship with God. We are rooted in Christ. Uh, but, you know, the uh, being connected and being close uh, to others of faith is part of our protection. That um, sometimes we, we go off on a trunk all by ourselves and think that we have nothing to do with all those other branches that are connected to Christ as well. But that's not true. That's not true. You know, um, we each are there for each other because we are rooted together in Christ. So that's the lesson I'm taking from this uh, withered grass behind us, from this broken tree, uh, is a reminder that um, I need the protection of, of others around me. Uh, and even those on other branches of the faith that I don't interact with regularly, uh, that we are connected in Christ. So. Uh, I'm going to pray for all the non-Lutheran, non-Presbyterians out there. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you that uh, this is such a big, beautiful tree uh, that we are rooted in, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that we are the branches and uh, you, Lord, are the trunk. Uh, and we pray, Lord, that uh, we will cherish those that live off of other branches 
and that we will shelter them in the storm just as they shelter us. In your holy name we pray. Amen.